G'day! Welcome to part one of the quadratics course, Playing with Numbers. Now science is all about collecting data and looking for patterns in that set of numbers you get. So let's begin our course at that very beginning core principle of science, and it actually motivates and provides context for study of quadratics. So although this is not part of the standard curriculum, it really should be. It's the core of what makes quadratics interesting and worthwhile. For example, Galileo apparently did this, or at least wrote about wanting to do this, going up the leaning tower of Pisa and dropping objects off its edge and trying to measure its velocity as it fell, fell down. And he collected data for this and found that by analysing sequences of numbers, he could deduce something fundamental about the motion of, of projectiles in the air. So the key example of quadratics in a quadratics course is always about projectile motion, but no one ever explains why and where it comes from. So let's begin this course at the very beginning. Let's look at data that might come from an experiment like this, figure out how to find formulas to that data, and then provide context for everything one does in a standard algebra quadratics course. If this part one is important, let's have fun with it. Thanks.